global platform is a youth-led space that promotes young people's advocacy towards social justice. We catalyze change by working with young people. The global platform, we create space in three ways. A participatory action-oriented training, where we offer trainings to young people at the platform and also in the community. Our trainings mostly focuses on three areas, three objectives. Uh, the first objective is mostly to change attitude of the participants, of the young people we work with. The second objective deals with building knowledge on certain issues, on certain topics. And then the third objective that you always have is building skills or creating skills for young people in terms of advocacy skills and in terms of how they control power and or how they get power from the power holder. One of our key areas of work is to build social movement. And we build social movement by initiating movements and also by working with movements that are already existing. And one of them is the Campus Me Too movement. We have four pillars in Campus Me Too the advocacy, communication, wellness, and the activism docket. It was launched in 2019, but even before the launch, we had a group of students who came to the global platform. We had a workshop, and we were discussing what exactly is really affecting the students within the institutions of higher learning. And we realized that sexual harassment is a prevalent issue that is happening. It's very widespread, and a lot of students are suffering in silence. Our trainings are so much unique in a way that uh, we target trainings that uh, young people can use to advocate for social change. So we offer trainings on advocacy, we offer trainings on how we can use social media, digital platforms for advocacy, we offer trainings on uh, how to build social movements, we offer trainings like how to communicate better using uh, different platforms for communications. We decided to support the students by conducting a survey in 2019 where we found out that 49% of the female students and 24% of the male students had experienced sexual harassment from a university staff member within the university. 66% of these student survivors had experienced sexual harassment from a university staff, specifically professors and lecturers. And even from these findings, we realized that the top reasons why these students did not report is because they did not know where to go, they feared the negative consequences, they feared that their cases not be kept confidential, and also, they knew that at times even when you report, you might be victimized because that has actually happened. And most of them have gotten to extents of changing courses, having missing marks, or even not graduating because of some of the lecturers who are frustrating the students within these institutions of higher learning. I joined Campus Me Too after nearly experiencing sexual harassment from my lecturer. I went for the training and that is when I got to understand what sexual harassment is and types of sexual harassment, there is when I realized I had or I nearly got sexually harassed by my lecturer. Campus Me Too movement have been working with ActionAid Global Platform and through the Global Platform, the students have been able to be built capacities uh, on advocacy, on how to sort of build strong movements. Um, also how to organize, how to mobilize, also communication, in terms of how do we better communicate in terms of digital collaborations. Also, ActionAid Global Platform has been very instrumental through the movement work because a lot of students have gained a lot of capacity in terms of empowerment when it comes to how to better advocate and how to better sort of see these changes in a way that is actually received by the people that they are trying to sort of build that change with. 